check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful. Kill Fire. job over there. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a body kick. Oh, oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. goes in and secures the takedown. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, okay. the next one, an elbow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He got oh. it. Nice job to block the kick. Nice straight punch. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. 